everyone, this is Laura with Quilted Chicken and we are here today to take a look at the block two for the Moda Block Heads Quilt Along that's online. Uh, this block was done by Janelle Kent of Pieces to Treasure uh, and Janelle designs um, some of the toweling for Moda. She had a line that just came out, a uh, lakeside toweling. I've got, I think I've got one piece from that line, but it's kind of a blues. But I did find I've got two towelings that we're going to take a look at uh, and incorporate into our block in Ode to Janelle. She also has this book called Farmhouse Fresh by Janelle Kent. And it's, I cannot even say how many projects in this book I so want to do. Um, there's different travel things. There's pillows. There's aprons. Um, all guys all kinds of fun stuff some really cute um, hand embroidery like some small stuff so it's not too big of a too big of a project but that's her book you can find that online wherever books are found um, so to, we're gonna get started um, and I'm gonna talk through some of this video I was I am not a very tech savvy person and trying to do voiceover on a video that had already been created did not work so I apologize. So this is a long learning process, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find all out, out all kinds of new stuff as we go. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you like everything. Okay, so we've got the fabrics picked out. I really want to use this toweling in this top corner. Uh, this is just going to be a half square triangle here. I really like the white to get that pop. Uh, we're going to keep the center dark. We're going to use this black along the center. And then the brown, uh, because I've got more of it, we're going to use the brown for um, more of the squares. And then the C is going to be, it's going to kind of come together like that. Her directions do say piecing and cutting notes to trim the half square triangles. Uh, these two pieces here are going to be a half square triangle. I'm going to cut it a little. These two pieces here are going to be a half square triangle. I'm going to cut them a little bit larger. It says to do three and seven eighths. We're going to cut it and uh, iron it and square it down. So let's clear all this. Oh no, I did it. You know what? We're going to use, we're going to also do the little um, four and a half inch block. So we'll use this. Oh, this changes the game entirely. Yep. We're going to fussy cut and we're going to put, I really like this um, here. So that's going to be our, that's going to be our black center there. So we've got two squares and we're going to cut them at four inches. I do want to trim off the uh, binding or the hem. I'm going to press that. If you can see, it's because it was um, stitched and pulled. It's, um, we're going to press that a little bit to get a nice clean. I am lining it up with the fabric and not with the table because I want to make sure that I get uh, the sections squared up. We're going to draw a line on the fabric and we're going to sew on either side of it and then we'll trim that apart. Four two inch squares for this. I 
In RE, there's four rectangles that are two inches by three and a half inches. We're not going to get much of the black on either side, so I hope that that's going to be um, hope that that's going to be what we want. For these other rectangles, we need eight two-inch squares of our brown. As there are so many small pieces, and I do really like this brown, pretty sure we're going to use it again. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and cut a full two inch strip. All right, and we're going to trim them down to three and a half by three and a half. So all our pieces are cut. We're going to go ahead and lay it out so we can see number one, what it looks like, and number two, we it's ease more easily pick it up and put it together. All right, I like it. I think that this is going to be a nice kind of a contrast that that's really going to join up. So the directions have you put, we're going to have four of these. This is going to be our section. So we're going to sew these two together first, here and here. All right, we did get those chain pieced together. Everybody seeing a uh, chain, 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 chain of squares. We're gonna press our seams open. All of the seams on this block um, are gonna be a scant, a scant quarter inch. So just be mindful of that. I took all of my corners and stacked them up since it's, it's the exact same quarter of the block. It's just then turned so that I could make sure that I've got my light piece up and my dark piece down. We're going to go ahead and just take those two and get them stitched together. All right, so now we have our four top corner sections. I'm going to press these seams open as well. All right, so now we're gonna get um, all four of these sections sewn together. Guys, this is going together so easily. This is so great. So because this uh, toweling is so much thicker, we are gonna press it uh, towards the regular cotton so that we don't get a ton of uh, bulk on that side of it. If we press it towards the cotton, it's gonna lay a lot nicer. So that's our corner. We're going to stitch, stitch these two together and we'll about be ready to go. And again, because of the thickness of the toweling, we're going to press the seam towards our um, half square triangle here. I've actually never used toweling in any kind of regular uh, quilt piecing. Um, I guess it's probably a lot like a like a like a soft chambray, or it's the thickness almost of a of a, a nice flannel. Huh? I like it. Looky there. So sewing the block together, you didn't have anything to match up on this seam. You have to match up here and you have to match up here. And that's it, so that's nice if you don't love having to check your check your corners. One thing I would say about this uh, heavier weave toweling, I'm glad that it's on the center 
because um, there was a lot of fraying that went on. Um, so if it was on something on the outside, you would want to you'd want to definitely uh, stitch that down so that you weren't um, going to have that come apart while it was in your stash waiting to get put into the quilt. But guys, I'm pretty pleased with that. I like it. So guys, that's it. We got our, I think it's pronounced cooey, our block two from Janelle Kent. This was the nine inch version and it we guys we were right on the money it said to use a scant quarter uh so it, it's that's looking good i'm really pleased with that it's a lot different you really get more of the it almost looks more like a snowball with having the light here and the kind of the neutral here so um that's it we're i'm so excited next up we're gonna do the little four and a half inch so tune in for that as well thank y'all have a great day